The ankle is a major power source for human walking and running. Our focus is to build devices that we can attach onto people's ankles to make walking easier or more stable. What I'm holding here is a uh, passive elastic ankle exoskeleton. It uses um, no battery and it uses no motors in order to reduce the energy cost of human walking. What we learned in our lab over the last few years is that humans, when they use their calf and Achilles tendon, they're not using their muscles as motors. They're actually using their muscles as clutches. So we had the idea to take that clutch spring or the Achilles tendon calf muscle and copy paste it outside the body in a mechanism that could be worn in a carbon fiber skeletal structure, an exoskeleton. By transferring mechanical energy to and from the person strategically, we could reduce the forces in the person's calf muscles and actually reduce their energy costs by about 7%. Now 7% is actually appreciable, it's equivalent to about a 5 kilogram backpack, so 10 pounds or so in a pack. A device like this might be very useful for the normal aging population who are suffering um, muscle weakness due to atrophy, um, people like astronauts who come back from space potentially with muscle weakness, and even people with neurological um, or musculoskeletal disorders that are a little bit more serious, so people with strokes or spinal cord injury could benefit from having this uh, parallel pathway for uh, musculoskeletal load to travel that, that's not then put on their bones, ligaments, and doesn't require their muscle coordination to be perfect. So the results with this have been really promising. On a, on a cohort of, uh, of 10 human subjects, we were able to show that when this spring has the right stiffness, which is a whole nother interesting question, but when you get it right, it's an intermediate value, not too stiff and not too compliant. Um, people can, can reduce their energy cost for the best users up to 10, 12%, and on average 7%. Our hope is that over the next few years we take this device and transition it especially into post-stroke walking populations so that they might, they might improve their quality of life, they can walk around using less energy, and potentially even do some of the things that they, they can't do due to their disability, like taking hikes, uh, in the woods, walks on the beach, even just going down the driveway to get their mail.